Hey guys, this is going to be a review of Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, which I read for my humanities class. And as I've said before in the past, when it comes to like classics like this, I'm never entirely sure if I'm going to review them or not. But for this one, I just decided to go for it. Um, pretty much hadn't made up my mind about whether or not I was going to review it until like an hour ago, but I am going to go ahead and review it. So I was kind of excited when I found out that we were going to be reading this, but also kind of hesitant because I really didn't know much about Frankenstein really. I knew the basic concept and I knew all the stereotypes obviously, but um, I really didn't know much about what to expect from the actual book. And I was kind of worried that I wouldn't like it. Like, I wanted to like it because, um, I know a fair amount about Mary Shelley for not having read Frankenstein for, from other literature classes, like, talking about her. And we studied Percy Shelley in one of my classes this semester. And, um, I'd actually read something about her, um, before. And I actually read something about, like, the actual writing of Frankenstein yet still knew almost nothing about Frankenstein. So I like find her a very interesting person. But, oh, and we studied her mom too in one of my classes this semester. So we've studied like all these people surrounding her and I know a fair amount about Mary Shelley and find her to be very interesting. But I didn't really know exactly what to expect with Frankenstein and what I did know I wasn't entirely sure that I would like it. Um, but I wanted to because I find Mary Shelley an interesting person, but I don't like, to me it just, I don't like creatures, which sounds weird considering I read fantasy a lot and I read books that involve vampires and werewolves, but I don't really read books that focus on them because I, I don't know how to explain it, but I'm just kind of iffy on that sort of thing. So I wasn't sure how I would feel about Frankenstein and dealing with the creature, um, but I was actually pleasantly surprised. I just really like what the book explores and how Frankenstein creates this monster and is responsible for this monster, but as soon as he realizes what he's done, he's like, he abandons the monster um, and basically just throws off all the responsibility because he thinks it's a horrible thing that he's done, but he's not really realizing that it may be, but it's his fault and he needs to own up to it. Um, and just that entire kind of like exploring that and like go, I think it explores like life a lot because obviously he's creating life, but then it also explores responsibility. And um, my professor raised the very interesting question of whether the creature or Frankenstein was the real monster, um, because is the creature to blame for his life or is Frankenstein to blame and does Frankenstein make things worse and that sort of thing. And I just, I was not really expecting to kind of connect with the theme of the book as much as I did and I just thought it was really interesting and that kind of made the entire book for me and just looking at it from that perspective I really really enjoyed this book. I was definitely very happy about that considering I wanted to like it didn't think I would and then I did so that was a pretty interesting experience but I really enjoyed it and I think that is all I have to say so I will see you guys later bye